Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today, Howard and I are going to be doing a taste test on some great value snacks. Oh, about a week or and a half or so ago, um, I did a grocery haul from Walmart and I picked up all of these new snacks and I said that we're gonna give do a taste test and tell you what we think about them. So the things that we are going to be making today are these steamed soup dumplings, and these were $2.78. We are also going to be doing these chili cheese onion rings, and they were $4.96. We are going to be tasting these chili cheese bites, and they were $5.47. And what I'm most excited about are these funnel cake sticks, and they were $2.76. So I am in the process of heating up all of these different snack items, and then we are going to come back and do a taste test on camera and give you our honest opinions of all of these snacks. So I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, so we are back. Again, I'm Andrea. I'm Howard. And we are trying our first product, which are these um, steamed soup dumplings with chicken and vegetables. Howard is a big connoisseur of soup dumplings. Yes, I like them. <laughs> so, um, you wanna show what the package looks like? So I followed the instructions on the package. They come like that. You might not be able to see, there you go. There's a glare. They come like that in the package and it says to, um, to remove the package from this carton and then it says to keep the plastic on it, cut open a corner of the bag for ventilation, which I did, and then it says heat for a minute and 45 seconds in the microwave, let it stand a minute before um, serving. So that's, I followed the instructions exactly. And so this is what they look like in the tray. And Howard, you've had the ones from um, Trader Joe's, right? Yes. I brought so, those for you. They're not the same as in a restaurant, but when you don't have that, it's a pretty good substitute. Yeah. You might be able to hear our, our neighbor's dog is going crazy out there, howling. Or something. <laughs> something's going on. Yeah, something's going on. Okay, so you ready? Do you hear, you guys hear that? <laughs> maybe a coyote or something. Yeah, maybe a coyote. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, you were easy to get that out. Yeah, popped it okay. out. Fingers. You're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth and the juice is supposed to burst. You ready? Well, that's what I do. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's try that again. I may have to use my fingers too. Okay. Mm, good. Mm. Too much of a mouthful for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. It's a little juicy. Now the flavor, I'm guessing the Trader Joe's flavor is a little better, but. More authentic, you think? I don't think I've ever even tried your Trader Joe's soup dumplings. I've never mm -hmm. tried I them. eat them all before you get them. Yeah, I've, so I've never had one. Well, it's not bad. Yeah. I don't mind it. And it was, it was pretty juicy. Um, it had a good flavor, I liked it. Now I will say it could, said cook for a minute and 45 seconds, and I know that everyone's microwave is different. But you can see right here, like it got a little bit like uh, overcooked. See those two are combined there at the bottom. But would you repurchase these again? Yeah, I get them. Yeah, they're good. Okay, so we are going to get our next item um, out of the oven and we will be right back. Hey guys, so we are back with our second product, which is... Cheeseburger onion rings. With? Uh, seasoned ground beef, cheddar cheese, and, and onion in a golden coating. So here's what they look like. And I followed the um, directions exactly, which was to cook these on 450. I'm trying not to let them tip over. 450 for six minutes on one side, and you flip it over. And as you can see, there's cheese coming out of it. Yes. And neither one of us are big onion ring people, but these sounded good. So, you ready? Yes. Okay. It's warm. Look at that cheese coming out. Cheese mm -hmm. coming out of it. Cheers. This is what they look like. I think it tastes weird. I agree. I get the cheese a little bit. I'm guessing that's the seasoned ground beef. I don't know, but it, I don't like these. Um, I would agree with you. It tastes weird. 
Um, they, so you know like an onion ring, of course, traditionally has a big onion ring, onion in there and then it's deep fried. So there is no big onion in there. So I think the onion is chopped up. The ground beef, um, ground beef is in there. Maybe that's the weird flavor, I don't know. <laughs> um, the coating is a little thick, a lot thicker yeah. than a, but I guess it would have to be. I'm trying to break it open so you guys can see. I don't care for these. Maybe it needs what, ketchup or something? You like ketchup, I don't. I like ketchup. Ketchup makes everything better. You think this would be better with some, some like dipping sauce or something? I definitely would eat with ketchup. It would taste better. Definitely kind of dry. This is not my favorite. No. I probably would not repurchase these. I don't even know if we're gonna eat the rest of these things that are in the package. I will eat what's cooked. Yeah, okay. So there you go, there's that. All right, so we will be back with our next item in just a second. Okay, so we're back with our next product, which are these chili cheese bites. And the, the um, they have, excuse me, traditional chili with ground beef, tomatoes, beans, bacon, corn, mozzarella, and cheddar wrapped in a crunchy corn chip crust. And the instructions are to bake them at 425 for seven minutes and then um, flip them over and bake them for another seven minutes. And here's what they look like. They don't look that good to me. <laughs> Especially after those those cheeseburger onion ring things. Um, not looking that good. Ready? Okay. All right, mine had a little escape. <laughs> Cheers. Hot. Mm. I taste some bacon. I taste the chili for sure. Yeah. Here's what they look like on the inside. You see a piece of corn. It's the texture. The texture is very. It's not like a like a chili you would make at home, like a, a meaty chili. It's yeah. It's like a very. Oh, show them yours. Yours is good on the inside. Mine's good on the inside. <laughs> it's very soft and it's kind of like a mushy. But the flavor, I think the flavor is better than the chili, the cheeseburger ones for sure. So I'm not really a fan of this one either. If you had to choose between the two. I don't know. I, I, they're both equal to me. If I had to choose between the two, I would choose this one for sure. I would put some ketchup on both and make them much better. Mm. This one wasn't bad to me. Not that I think I would go out and buy it again, but it's more palatable to me, this one and that cheeseburger one, for sure. I do taste the chili. It's like, uh, I taste the beans too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing special if you ask me. Nothing special. All right, so we have one more left, so we will be back in a second. All right, we are back with our final product, and I think this is the one that I'm most excited about, which Whoa. is... Uh, funnel cakes. Funnel cake sticks. Funnel cake sticks. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> and so these bake at 350 for three to four minutes. And so that's what I did. And I didn't want to transfer these from the pan to a uh, to a plate. So here's what they look like. Now I have to say I'm really not a big fan of funnel cakes. I mean when I go Neither am I. <laughs> to the like the fair or something like that, I never get a funnel cake. So but I was excited about these. So you ready? We'll give it a try. Alright. Ooh, hot. Cheers. Cheers. Is this what it's supposed to taste like? Yeah, I think so. To me, it's a little spongy. Mm hmm. But I don't have anything to compare it to. I don't think I've had a funnel cake before. Um, so it is a little spongy. I mean, I think I probably could have. <laughs> Mine is sticking straight up. I think I could have maybe cooked it a little bit longer, like if you want a little bit browner, but it is a little spongy, but it does have a good flavor. I mean, it tastes like funnel cake to me. And this was only, I think it was 278, I can't remember. But um, anyway, it's pretty good to me. I guess it's not bad. But yeah, not bad. Uh, I just don't know if, if it's what a funnel, ta funnel cake tastes like. Just... Like if it's authentic. Yes. Okay. So anyway, this is it. So out of all four things that we tried today, which one was your favorite? The dumplings. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> so I like the dumplings too, and then probably this one would be my second. 
The other two, I don't think I would repurchase those again. What would be your second? Oh. Uh, it is dumplings than everything else. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Our channel is all about the food. We're always doing taste tests, what's for dinners, grocery hauls, and recipes. So hope you guys like this video. Give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, we hope that you'll do so. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.